Why am I not surprised? Walmart, you're killing me with your batteries, bro. It doesn't work. It never holds a charge. Poor boy version of a jumper. That is a very new, strange noise. That didn't sound too good. Goodbye, Evo. We'll get back to work any soon. What is going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel and to another video. What we are doing today, or tonight, I guess, is going to a car meet. I haven't been out in a while and I've been wanting to throw a nice car meet for a while in a different location than the typical spot. So right now we got the FRS out. We're waiting on Bobby. She's gonna come and we're gonna clean both of the cars. And then I think we're meeting a few people here and then we're gonna head down to the location, which is actually at Bobby's coffee stand. So she's gonna be running the stand tonight. She'll be selling obviously coffee and Red Bulls and all that stuff and as well as air fresheners too. So yeah, let's get the cars cleaned up and head out. What's up, dog? Boy. God, that car sounds so good, <laughs> doesn't it? Face that way. So you guys remember that Walmart battery I put in here is like 50 or 60 bucks? This is what happens when you only spend like 50 or 60 bucks on a battery. That also happened. It's completely dead. And no, it'll die at my house over within like two days of not even like just no lights on. I, I understand, Hawks. We all understand, clearly. It's probably gonna kill me. So I 
didn't really get much content at all at the car meet. I was busy meeting all of you guys, but it was a huge turnout. Shout out to everyone who came out and said, what's up? I'm just happy. I that I got to meet like a ton of you guys. I will be definitely having more of these meets. I was thinking like once a month. All right, so this car is actually going into paint today. So they'll have it for probably two weeks. So what we're gonna be doing is pulling these wheels off. I've been trying to sell these wheels and I don't want any paint to get on them, like any overspray. So I'll be pulling them off, put the stock wheels back on, and then we could head out drop this thing off and get a bunch of body work done on this thing. that this car is going to be gone for a while we're still not completely finished tuning so we're kind of we're going to kind of have to just push that off but i've been needing paint work done on this car for for a very long time ever since i got the car it's been needing a bunch of paint work so i'm excited to get it done i don't know how long it's going to take if i had a guess probably two anywhere from two to three weeks for all the stuff that they're doing once again they're doing front bumper rear bumper no shop on the front bumper as well the front of the hood so they're blending the hood right front fender trunk wing a pillar and i think that may be it so it's gonna take a while uh but yeah let's head into spokane i got bobby following me and she has a workout headlight on the truck sick I'm so excited to get this hit on there. Fuck yeah, I did. I still want to do that nose shop thing. Okay. No I way. want these filled. Oh, the they're only on this side for okay. the Feel. license plate. I don't run from plates. Black's easier than Black's, white, right? Yeah, it is easier. The struggles of a short bed. Hopefully everything is still there when we get all the way back to Deer Park. It's probably gonna fly out, huh, Haas? Probably. You think? Oh, yeah. All right guys, well the Evo 8 is dropped off for paint. They said about two to maybe three weeks they're gonna have the car, so quite a while without it. It's all good though. I wanna get these X-T9, the work X-T9 wheels off of it sold. Order up a new set. The set I really, really, really have been wanting are the 57 Extremes made by Ray's Graham Lights, or the Ray's Graham Light 57 Extremes. I'll throw a photo on the screen if you don't know what they are. And uh, I want them in matte graphite. I think that'd look really nice on the car. I like the X-T9s a lot. I just think the black on black I don't know, it kind of ruins. I think it kind of ruins it. So I'm gonna get these wheels sold and order up the new wheels. I wanna buy new coilovers. I wanna get a bunch of parts for this car in before I get it back so we can just get everything on at once, get it kind of like done and over with. And it definitely needs a buff and like polish, ceramic coat, all that stuff, and potentially tint the windshield. Make it look good and just really enjoy driving it because in the past I haven't really been like all that proud of this car. So yeah. Um, a little update on Bobby's motor. We should get all the parts ordered hopefully for today, all the motor parts that we need. Machine shop still hasn't got back to me on the block and the head, so hopefully that comes back. Hopefully by like next weekend we should have all that back and start working on the car. In the meantime, we are going to get back to work on the Bandit Evo 10. So without further ado, I'm going to end up this video here. Tomorrow morning, we're going to be back to work on the Bandit Evo 10, so I'll see you guys then. Thank you so much for watching. Once again, huge shout out to everyone that came out to the car meet. Way bigger turnout than I expected. And yeah, it just kind of caught me by surprise. So huge shout out to everyone that came out and supported myself, supported Bobby. It was a good time. See you guys in the next video and see you guys at the next car meet coming soon. Peace out.